Paul Schmitz. I've been a member here at St. Peter since the mid-1980s. And I met Sarah Abby at uh, REI. We worked together there. Um, in talking with her, I can tell that she definitely feels a calling for mission work. She's mentioned that before. And now that she's working with InterVarsity, um, I love the feeling of being able to support her. Hi, my name is Sarah Abbey, and I'm really excited just to be able to share a little bit about my story with you. Um, I have been working at REI for the past six years, which is an outdoor retail place. Um, and I've really seen it as an opportunity to live out my faith in a work context. Um, as I've been growing up in life and just in my relationship with the Lord, He's really shown me that missions isn't just going overseas. It isn't just about going to like what I used to think about it as a child growing up in a Christian home, being in like the middle of nowhere with a lot of snakes and spiders and being afraid of that. But missions is really just anywhere where Jesus isn't known and the opportunity I have to share about who he is and what it means to have life in him. Uh, the Lord has really just been leading me into a different direction. And that is just, he's giving me a deep heart and desire to help um, the university context to find light and hope and life in Jesus Christ. And he's led me to InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, specifically to their graduate and faculty ministry, where we seek to uh, be a presence of discipleship and evangelism, specifically to graduate students and to faculty, helping them to wrestle with questions of faith about who is God, who is Jesus, does he make a difference in my life? Does he have anything to say about my profession and what I'm doing, not just in my personal life, but in my academic career and in my professions? And just helping them to wrestle with that and to find hope in Christ and to live out what it means to be a disciple. Uh, in that process, I was sharing about this journey with Paul, and he was one of the first people to get really excited about this with me as I was starting to say, hey, I'm, I'm praying about this new ministry opportunity. I'm, I'm thinking I might apply to InterVarsity. He was one of the first to just to be asking me for updates, tell me that when I started to support raising, he wanted to be part of that process. And every step of the way has just been encouraging me, praying for me, and spurring me on, to be honest, when I get a little discouraged. Remembering back when I was in college too, there really wasn't anything I can remember where you could talk with somebody about Jesus. And so I think this is an important mission field and I'm delighted that she's engaged in it. InterVarsity is a parachurch ministry that works specifically on university and college campuses. Similar to a crew or a navigators, we are men and women who are on college campuses across the US, um, as well as across the world. We're a part of a larger network of missions to university contacts called um, the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students. And our goal is to be a witnessing community on the campus. So we're on multiple camps throughout the country um, and just helping students to, to grow in that, to grow um, holistically. So not just in their spiritual life, but how does that impact how I'm living out my faith in my profession or in my relationships. Uh, so, and then the graduate and faculty ministry would then specifically be seeking to minister to um, your graduate students, your doctorates, your postdocs, which in many ways is an unreached people group, even within campus ministries. Rightfully so, a lot of campus ministries focus on undergrad students. To be able to be there to continue to help people cultivate faith, um, help them to wrestle with questions of faith. I have an apologetics background, so I love to just wrestle with those hard questions with people, help them to see that uh, doubt, questions, wondering and wrestling with things um, isn't something to be afraid of. And a lot of um, graduate students and postdocs, doctorate students are coming from overseas as well. They're coming for countries where maybe um, talking about faith, talking about Jesus Christ specifically, um, if it's not frowned upon and sometimes it's even downright dangerous. There are um, a few ways that the people, people at St. Peter can help. Um, the most important way, and I truly mean this, is through prayer. 
Uh, I feel like a lot of times we talk about prayer in Christian circles and it's just something we tack on. Oh yeah, prayer is important. But InterVarsity really believes this and I do as well, that prayer is the most important work we can be doing in gospel proclamation and in helping others to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. So the most important way people can partner in that is through prayer. Um, I want as much prayer as I can possibly get. <laughs> the more people praying, the better. Uh, and another way that people can partner is through finances, like missionaries. Um, I am support raising. I am finding a network of people who are excited about what God is doing on university campuses and want to have a part and a role in that.